Since we are going to be entering November, the month that we give thanks on Thanksgiving for all the wonderful gifts of the harvest and the gifts of our Native American friends, I want to share this short book called Giving Thanks, a Native American Good Morning Message by Chief Jank Swamp. And these are things we should all be thankful for every day. Mother Earth shares so many gifts with us and makes life possible uh, through those gifts. To be a human being is an honor, and we offer thanksgiving for all the gifts of life. Mother Earth, we thank you for giving us everything we need. And look at, we see squash, corn, beans, cornmeal, those gifts of the three sisters. Thank you, deep blue waters around Mother Earth, for you are the force that takes thirst away from all living things. We can't live without water on our beautiful planet. We give thanks to green grasses that feel so good against our bare feet for the cool beauty you bring to Mother Earth's floor. And the gift of grasses allows us to make things with those grasses, like the baskets we learned about, and different grains, the seeds we eat that grow on the grasses. Thank you, good foods from Mother Earth, our life sustainers, for making us happy when we are hungry. Fruits and berries, we thank you for your color and sweetness. We are all thankful to good medicine herbs, for healing us when we are sick. And here we go again. Squash, beans, tomatoes, corn, berries, all of these things are foods that we can grow on our planets, gifts of Mother Earth, so that we never have to feel hungry. Look at the beautiful fruits. And in a rainbow of colors to keep our body healthy and to share with our friends and neighbors. Thank you all the animals of the world for keeping our precious forest clean. All the trees in the world, we are thankful for the shade and warmth you give us. Thank you all the birds in the world for singing your beautiful songs for all to enjoy. Thank you, Grandfather Thunder Beings, for bringing rains to help all living things grow. There's our hummingbird, one of our favorite pollinator pals. Elder Brother Sun, Weak Sun, thanks for shining your light and warming Mother Earth. Remember, without the sun's light and warmth, we wouldn't be able to live on our planet because of the light and warmth. We can grow plants that allow us to grow food and shelter to, that creates fresh air for us all to breathe. Everything is connected. Thank you, Grandmother Moon, for growing full every month to light the darkness for children and sparkling waters. Look at the Fish are jumping with joy under the light of the full moon. We give thanks, twinkling stars, for making the night sky so beautiful and for sprinkling morning dewdrops on the plants. And here's our sisters again, the squash, the beans, and the corn. This is the staff of life for our Native American friends and for all of us, thanks to their gift and sharing. Spirit protectors of our past and present, we thank you for showing us ways to live in peace and harmony with one another. And most of all, thank you, Great Spirit, for giving us all these wonderful gifts so we will be happy and healthy every day and every night. And here we see the spirits of the animals sharing their wisdom and messages of their life on Mother Earth to, to connect with us on a deep level and to help us learn how to care for Mother Earth and care for ourselves and each other.